Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you two methods that I used on how to remove ceramic tile easily and quickly. So stay tuned. So first off, I'd like to thank one of my subscribers for recommending this product to me. They saw my uh, previous bathroom remodel video and they saw me chipping some tile with my crowbar. I know that method does work, but he recommended that this will make the job easier and faster. Now this is the Bosch Bulldog Extreme and it has very neat features associated with it. Once you turn the handle like this, you can actually rotate this handle 360 degrees. It also comes with a depth gauge right here so you know how deep you are drilling when using the drill option on this. It also has a reverse and forward um, rotating option on this. Now this chisel I bought separately but you can easily insert it and this will make your job easily when you're doing chipping tile. So the tiles that we'll be chipping today is located on my master bathroom and here are the tiles we're going to be chipping this away. It's uh, on the back is Hardy Backer. Now we're going to see how this Bosch Bulldog Extreme performs and we're going to be putting it on the hammer setting. Now I'm actually taking off this railing from the shower door and uh, underneath it are some ceramic tiles and as you can see that it just comes off in the breeze. It just cuts through like butter. If I was using a crowbar, it, would, it will work, but it does take a little bit more elbow grease using a crowbar and you will need to use a, a mallet or a hammer to take it off. But this actually cuts through some wood as well. There's some two by four. As you can see, this one's actually pretty um, rotted out from the moisture because this was in the bathroom and it wasn't properly uh, moisture protected that well. But it cuts through that ceramic tile easily with ease and trust me, um, using a crowbar does take a little bit of elbow grease and it will tire you out. This is a vibrating tool so the more you use it you will get a little bit of fatigue but it beats using the crowbar. This actually makes my job way way faster and these tiles are connected to a cement layer underneath. Here's my, one of my past videos where I renovated my guest bathroom. Now there was tile that was attached to the subfloor and it was really hard to get out using this crowbar. Now I'm not saying that a crowbar is a bad method to use but it does have its purpose on certain areas where the hammer drill cannot reach. So by using the crowbar it actually lets you pry off bigger chunks. It does come with a price, it does make you tire out easy and you know with this type of job it will take a little bit longer but in, if you do use the hammer drill it does cut your your job time in half now that we tested the chisel which is on the hammer mode let's go to um, the hammer and drill and then let's test out the drill now the drill is for wood and then for the hammer and drill i'm going to be using that for concrete so let's set it up to concrete and let's change the bit to a, dr uh, a drill bit. This Bosch um, drill bit set that I bought, it comes with five different sizes right here. We're going to be using the biggest size. I'm going to be using the half inch drill bit size. Again, if you want to know where I got this bit set, check out the link down below. Push down the collar and just insert the bit. There you go. Nice and snug. Okay, so now let's go outside and test out the hammer and drill and let's drill on through some concrete and see how this works. Did 
drilled through that concrete in seconds. So that's pretty awesome. Let's put it on drill setting and let's go drill through a 4x4 piece of wood. Took a little longer than the than the concrete, but drilled through it with ease. So there you have it. That's all the settings. Now you know which setting you can use for each. Again, the hammers for chiseling, hammer and drills for concrete, and then the drill is for any type of wood wooden surface. So once again friends, this is my review for the Bosch Bulldog Extreme. I mostly bought this too because again, I was having a hard time using that crowbar. I'm not saying that you should rule out the crowbar when you're doing tile ripout. Again, there are some circumstances that a crowbar does is a very great help with a combination of this. But mostly if you're chipping tile on um, that's attached to concrete or mostly on that floor, as you, can, as you saw on that bathroom ripout that I did, this helped a lot especially with this chipping um, bit right here this chisel it helped out so much and again on certain spots where you know where my wall on my bathroom was again it was attached on some hardy backer or backing board um, the chipper actually helped on some areas to loosen the spot so that i can get the crowbar into it again with the combination of this and the crowbar you will you, you will cut your job in half and it just makes easy it just makes it easier doing rip out so again if you're interested on this product friends i'll leave it in the description down below i'll leave on the link and i highly suggest that you get this and again i'm not this is just my personal opinion but i, I always like getting the corded versions because it just lasts way longer i mean with the if you have the battery version it just dies out and you always have to worry about having the having a charged battery but once again again it's the B bosch bulldog extreme and again this is a must i'm definitely going to be keeping this in my toolbox whenever i'm doing rip out so thank you once again for tuning in i hope you found this video helpful if you did please hit that like that subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on diy's how to videos and product reviews that i do within this channel thanks so much friends i'll see you on the next video